Good morning, children, and I welcome and you are welcome to our today online class for ninth standard English. Today I am going to take new poem Africa. So this poem has been written by David Job. So let me go to the poem. David Mandasi Job was a revolutionary African poet. He was an African poet. He was born in France to parents of Western African descent. He lived in France through his childhood and visited Africa only in the 1950s. So he was living in France throughout his childhood and then he visited Africa only in 1950. His poem highlighted the problems of Africa brought about by colonialism and gave a message to Africans to bring out change and freedom. So, this was a message which was given for them regarding the change which has to be brought about for the people regarding freedom for the African people. He was known for his involvement in the Negritude movement in France, a movement started by black, black writers and artists protesting against French colonialism and its effect on African culture and values. So, this is about the protest against the African culture and values for the African people. His views and feelings were published in presence his, his views and also his feelings. He has more feelings about his people now. So, that feelings he published in a book. So, the book name is Presence Africa and in his book of poems Quotes the Pillar. So, two, one is Poems book, another one, the lesson is, it was published in Africa. And then Quotes the Pillar, which was published in, so this was published in which year? In 1956. So, Dior died at the age of 33 in a plane crash. So, sad, he died in a plane crash. What was his age that day? He was 33 years old. And then here about the poem. The poem is a reminiscence of Africa, a land about which the poet heard from his grandmother's song. So he heard a song by his grandmother. So that only it is he has written as a poem, Africa. He paints a vivid picture of the history of European colonialism in Africa and the strength of African people and also the strength of African people. Africa, my Africa, Africa of proud warriors in ancestral savannas, Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my veins, your beautiful black blood that irrigates the fields, the blood of your sweat, the sweat of your heart. He paints a vivid picture of the history of European colonialism in Africa and the strength of African people. So he used to paint a vivid picture of the history of Europeans. So that picture he used to paint and also in Africa and the strength of African people. Africa, my Africa, Africa of proud warriors in ancestral savannas means Africa is my Africa. He said that he is very proud of warriors in ancestor, his ancestor period. He is very proud of the warriors who was fighting for the country. Africa for whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. Means she used to sit on the bank of the rivers and sing. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my veins. So he is telling, I never knew you, but my your blood flows in my veins. Your beautiful black blood that irrigates the fields. Means irrigation, you know what is irrigation means I have already told you in class classes also before classes. It is an artificial supply of water to the agriculture from the tanks, ponds, rivers, like that. But not uh, but not natural rainwater. So this is irrigation. So he, uh, he says that your beautiful black bread that irrigates the field, all field, it is irrigated by the blood, black bread, 
the blood of your sweat, the sweat of your mouth, which is the red the blood of your sweat, the blood of your sweat, and also the work, which the much of work you do, so that you sweat also. The work of your slavery, the slavery of your children, Africa and the Africa, which the slavery, how the people were slaves under the Europeans, that will tell us. And it is this you the, this bag that is bent, this bag that breaks under the weights of humiliation. So the bag is bent and it is broken because of the weight, because of the humiliation. This bag trembling with red scars and saying, eyes to the whip under the midday sun. So because of the midday sun, the sun. So are we able to see the sun in the midday? It's very high temperature. So that time you cannot open your eyes and see the sun rays. So like that it was. But a great voice answers. And from the great voice answers, impetus sun, the tree end and strong. The tree air. So it is end and strong. People who have already gave the rights for the freedom of the country. In splendid loneliness amidst white and faded flowers. That is Africa or Africa. So that is what I am saying. Africa and that is Africa. That grows again patiently, obstinately, and its fruit gradually acquires. Is the fruit which leads from that painful effort what they have done for their country. The bitter taste of liberty means the bitter, it is very bitter only, but it gives a good taste because after your freedom, you can enjoy your freedom. So that is what I say bitter taste of liberty. So you have liberty. So to get liberty, the taste will be bitter. Thank you, children. Here I end this poem. This poem is very small, I hope. This poem is there for your effort. So complete your classwork. That is, fill for question answers and complete the table listing the poetic devices. That one you complete. And uh, see, work in place and complete the summary of the poem given below. That also. Till page number 41. Read the lines of the poem A2 till they are complete and submitted. Submit before today is Monday. Before Friday you have to submit. Okay, thank you, children.